This gallery is called From My Window by Camille Passaro, one of the great artists during the Impressionist art movement. Three important paintings are the scene at Port Marley, 1872, Hyde Park, London, and the Boulevard Montmartre on a winter morning. These works belong together because they are all landscapes of how he saw the world. They are everyday scenes from his literal point of view, observing the natural light as well as the people in the scene. They all include a lively and bright color palette. In all, he tries to portray the lightness of air and water, but also keep the solidity of objects such as buildings, the trees, and the boats. The scene at Port Marley, 1872, was chosen because it shows his different technique of his comma brush strokes. You can clearly see them on the leaves of the tree. The point of view suggests he was looking out a window from where he was staying, a common thing he did many of his later paintings. The right side consists of a boathouse that suggests relaxation and leisure, available for the more wealthy people. On the left, there is a factory that suggests hard work as well as shows sympathies for the peasant. Hyde Park, London was chosen because it was during the fall and it had bright colors that made the painting seem lively. There were visible brush strokes and it depicted urban life. This painting also had the common brush strokes, but they were more refined. The painting was also typical because it was unbalanced with a lot of things going on on the left. The Boulevard Montmartre on a winter morning was chosen because although it didn't have bright colors, the activities in the street made it seem lively and the air feels light. It also had a very rural scene and it was very busy and more active than the other, other paintings. The culture of the period can be traced through the industrialization that was going on in Paris. Pissarro felt sorry for the workers and they appeared in, in many of his paintings. For example, he has the factory in the scene at Port Marley alluding to the workers and also showing the change. The Franco-Prussian War was also big at the time. It didn't show in his painting symbolically, but it did show in his techniques. During the war, Pissarro fled to London where he met John Constable. John was a major influence on the way Pissarro painted landscapes. Pissarro was also influenced by the fact that he was in poverty for most of his life. He always tried new techniques in order to become more popular. Pissarro is an interesting example of the Impressionism movement because he is considered the father of it. He made many new techniques and encouraged others to explore. He started the idea of pointillism and many others. He was a major influence in the movement. This gallery is an excellent example of Impressionism. Each painting is different because of the techniques used, but they are also similar in the fact that they try to get an impression of the scene. This means Pissarro paints the image as he sees it, without much detail. He also pays attention to the light and how it affects the scenes. The paintings in the gallery, from my window, clearly express the ideas of the Impressionism movement as well as Pissarro's idea about society. 